Are you interested in GTA RP, but are unfamiliar with the terminology or the lingo that experienced role players rattle off so casually? Are you overwhelmed by the rules and worry that a simple mistake could get you banned? If so, you are not alone. Before I ever applied to my very first roleplay server, I would watch streamers like XQC and Buddha on Twitch. And I remember feeling absolutely lost when it came to certain terms they were using in Twitch chat, like meta or the lingo they would use in game. Hey guys, it's Dash. And today we are gonna cover all the RP terms and in-character lingo that you need to know to get started in GTA roleplay. Let's talk about some roleplay terminology you'll want to be familiar with. First up, RP, of course, stands for roleplay. But what does roleplay actually mean? When you roleplay, you take on a character persona, someone that isn't you, but someone you've created who has their own goals, their own fears, strengths, weaknesses, ambitions, and abilities. In RP, you fear for your life. Your actions have consequences and you act out situations as you would in real life. For example, if you happen to fall off a cliff, you wouldn't immediately just get up and go on with your day. You'd likely have some severe wounds and might even need medical attention. Not to mention you'd be in quite a bit of pain. In RP, you could play out scenarios like this by what you say and do. The best thing about RP is the interactions you have with others. Think of roleplay as one giant game of improv. You can have something in mind, but you must always be ready to pivot. Pivot! Pivot! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Or adapt to the situation at any time. As the stakes are always changing, and you never know what kind of scenario you may find yourself in. But trust me, that's where the fun is. Most servers have rules which help keep everyone in line and create a better, more immersive experience for everyone. We'll be covering a lot of these in this section. ERP stands for Erotic Roleplay. Pretty self-explanatory and not allowed on most servers. Essentially, any RP performed mostly or exclusively for the purpose of sexual behavior. Many RP servers will require you to be whitelisted. This means it's a server you have to apply for. And if you become whitelisted, this means your application was accepted on the server. By the way, I've got a great guide on the best public and whitelisted servers and how to apply to them. And you can find that linked in the description below. IC stands for in character, while OOC stands for out of character. Doing something in character means doing something as your character, while OOC means doing something out of character, as in your own voice and not the voice of your character, essentially breaking RP. Most servers will require you to do everything in character at all times. In my opinion, this is actually what creates a more immersive RP experience and makes for better role play all around. But sometimes you need to talk out of character, don't you? No. In fact, when you're brand new to RP, it may seem the only way to find out information or ask a question is to do so out of character, but it's actually quite the opposite. No matter what the situation is, you can always find a way to ask questions or find out how to do something in character. For example, say you're having trouble getting into your vehicle. You can ask for help in character. And furthermore, the person that's responding to you can offer advice also in character without ever having to break RP. Check out this clip for my very first time on an RP server. It's weird, like right on my bike. I'm not sure if it's like blood or something, but there's like a, like a red circle almost around my bike and I don't know it must be sticking on my shoe because I'm having trouble getting on my bike maybe you should try to unlock it oh nice as you can see I found a way to ask for help in character and the other person gave me a hint while staying in character and without having to break RP staying in character when asking questions is honestly the best way to learn and it also helps you become familiar with how to communicate through RP now, what if someone else breaks RP or speaks OOC? It's unlikely, but say you get in a confrontation with someone and they call you a name instead of your character, and it's clearly an intentional rule break. Don't further break RP, but report the player and move on. Now, if someone is new to the server or brand new to RP, and they're clearly struggling to figure something out, and they accidentally break RP or ask something out of character, encourage them to RP it out and respond in character. Remember this, when in doubt, RP it out. It's all about how you respond. Also, on my very first day on an RP server, I had someone ask for my phone number and I did not know how to access my phone. Here's how we RP'd it out. I mean, your number would be nice. Absolutely. Um, let me try to remember. I just got a new phone. 
I'm not sure how to add contacts yet. Model is. is it an F1 model? Oh, it is, actually. As you can see, the person responded with a clear hint for me to press F1 to bring out my phone. But again, they found a way to do so in character without breaking RP. As I said, when you're brand new, learning how to do things through RP is absolutely the best way to learn. It may be hard to imagine now, but someday you'll be the veteran player and you'll be helping someone new. So remember, you can always find a way to do so in character. By the way, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my complete beginner's guide where I cover absolutely everything you need to know to get started in GTA roleplay. You can find that link in the description below, along with the written guide with all the RP terms and in-character lingo that you can follow along with as you watch this video. Note that some RP servers may allow certain things to be done out of character, but it's not very common. As you hear me say a lot in these videos, every server is different, so respect their rules and the way they handle both in-character and out-of-character situations. Speaking of in-character or out-of-character scenarios, this is a term you'll really want to be familiar with. Metagaming, or MG, is when you use out-of-character knowledge when you're RPing. This will pretty much land you a ban on most servers and even some YouTube or Twitch chats. This is something the RP community as a whole takes very seriously. So I'll explain it a bit more to make sure you really understand what it means. Basically, if you yourself learn something OOC or out-of-character, you cannot use that knowledge I see in character as your character would have no way of knowing that information here's an example say someone posts in discord that santa perma died ah! oh my god you can't just run up to someone and then be like so i heard santa died you may know that information but your character would have no way of knowing that so you can't act on it not until your character learns that information through rp say you're rping as a cop and you happen to be streaming if someone pops into your chat and says hey, the criminal you're looking for is at Pillbox Hospital, your character can't then head over to Pillbox and make an arrest. As your character didn't find out that information, you did. See the difference? Metagaming would result in a clear advantage for the offending party and can even be seen as stream sniping. Not to mention, it completely ruins the RP. It's a big no-no, both on RP servers and on platforms like Twitch. Basically, don't metagame, period. If someone does intentionally or accidentally convey some out-of-character knowledge to you, that your character wouldn't know, just make sure not to act on it. No need to stress though, just make sure that you yourself never act on any out of character info you acquire by any means other than RP. Power gaming, or PG, is another way to gain an unfair advantage, and is also prohibited on most servers. Methods of power gaming can include robbing other players without giving them a chance to try to escape or defend themselves, constantly talking over others without allowing them a chance to respond or contribute to the conversation, or forcing dismemberment on another player without their consent. Basically, you can't just do whatever you want at the expense of other players without some form of RP. In other words, respect other players, interact with them as you would someone in real life and don't force anyone to do anything without the chance to RP it out first. Remember, this is RP. No, you cannot randomly kill other RPers for no reason whatsoever. However, if you happen to find yourself in a gang territory where a specific gang may be known to shoot on sight when you cross a certain area, that's RP as well. But again, these are all things that you would learn through RP itself once you get on the server and start interacting with others. Vehicle deathmatch, or VDM, trying to kill someone with your vehicle without an RP reason or any interaction whatsoever. Spawn kill, or SK, is when someone shoots you or kills you the moment you spawn on the server. Before I got whitelisted on Twitch RP, I decided to try some public servers just for fun and for a little practice to see what it was like. I tried about three or four of them and I just gave up because this is exactly what happened to me. Without fail, the moment I spawned on the server, someone would execute me before I had a chance to do anything, making it impossible for me to RP. Once again, this is not the experience on every public server. However, if you are serious about RP, this is just another reason why I highly recommend applying to a whitelisted server. They have rules, they have regulations, but I promise you, it prevents things like this from happening and makes a better RP experience for everyone overall. Again, if you're not sure which servers to apply to, you can check out my guide linked below. And if you need help creating an awesome character with an engaging backstory, I've got a deep dive character guide linked below as well to help your chances of getting accepted on some awesome whitelisted servers like Twitch RP and NoPixel. Like hardcore, in certain games, you can absolutely die permanently in GTA RP. However, only on your own terms. This is called permadeath. 
and something only you can decide when it occurs. Still, you must react to close calls or severe injuries. For example, say someone hits you in the head with a bat. I can, I can try. Oh! <laughs> Are you okay? <gasps> the f Bitch, are you okay? You can't just get up and go for coffee. You'd be in serious pain. You might not even be able to talk. Not to mention, you may need some medical attention. If you do respond, be sure to do so in character. Okay, yeah. Are you okay? Are you okay? No, I'm not fucking okay. But again, only you can decide if a truly fatal incident has occurred. Permadeath means your character dies forever. And this is not a decision you should make lightly. If you do decide to go this route, maybe it's something you've been thinking about for a long time. Remember that you'll be RPing with a ton of other characters and your actions, even your character's death, will affect other players. Usually permadeath situations will be discussed in PMs to confirm before a death certificate is signed, sealing the fate of that character. But we'll usually go out with a bang. Maybe it's a slow burn storyline and they always saw their character dying this way. Maybe they have a funeral and invite everyone from the RP server to join and pay the respects. I've definitely seen some things like this take place on the server I play on. I've witnessed it in RP myself and I can tell you, it can be really emotional to say farewell to a beloved character or when the time comes to close a chapter on a particular story. But keep in mind, in general, it's very hard to reverse a permadeath. So if you proceed with this route, consider it permanent. Team kill or TK is killing someone from your own gang, organization, or family. A lot of gangs will have rivalries with other gangs, and this may get heated as situations unfold. However, most gangs rely heavily on the loyalty of its members, so keep that in mind. I would say the only exception may be if a member of a particular gang, say, went rogue or did something that really pissed off the gang leader, and the gang makes a collective decision together to off the other player. Again, every server is different, so just check the rules before proceeding with something like this. Fear RP, sometimes used in correlation with value of life, means exactly what it sounds like. You fear for your life as you would IRL. Act like you would in real life. If your life is being threatened, act like it. It should go without saying, but in RP, you must value your life at all times and the lives of others. If someone pulls a gun on you and threatens your life, you should act accordingly. Don't try to run away or pull out a melee weapon that wouldn't win in a gunfight. One of the quickest ways to ruin RP, besides speaking out of character, is to downplay a serious situation, such as being held up at gunpoint or physically threatened. Similarly, fail RP is when someone fails to RP properly, meaning they intentionally do something they wouldn't do IRL. For for example, not role-playing serious injuries, saving shot multiple times, and walking away with zero reaction. Griefing is intentionally pestering, stalking, or harassing others to force RP, and is strictly forbidden on most servers. Combat logging is logging out while in combat. And for obvious reasons, don't log out in the middle of combat. Similarly, most servers won't let you hide in your apartment when you're caught in a car chase or if you're running from the cops. There will be certain situations where you might want to communicate something you can't easily do through emotes or commands. And of course, you'll want to do so without breaking character because it's RP. This is when you'll use something called text RP. Downed means your character is knocked out, unconscious, or has such severe injuries they need EMS to be revived. You should be unable to think or talk normally while in this state. The EMS may use text RP to say, check your pulse. Depending on the server, you may be able to do something like this by typing slash me and then the message in your chat box. This is a way for you to confirm you want to be revived. Remember, however, your character is downed, so you likely can't speak or shouldn't, but by using text RP, you could convey that your character indeed has a pulse by typing something like slash me has a pulse. And this lets the EMS know you want to be revived. In general, text RP shouldn't be overused, but sometimes it's the best way to convey necessary information you can't otherwise show or tell. In certain situations, it can even add to the RP, when of course it makes sense. Now let's discuss in-character lingo. As I mentioned earlier, most servers require you to stay in character at all times. A good way to do this is to pay attention to the lingo that others use. Using slang is the best way to stay in character and keep the RP going, even when explaining how to do something. 
Slang may vary per server, but here's some common ones you'll hear pretty often. You're probably familiar with this one. No matter which server you play on, usually the NPCs are referred to in Los Santos as the locals. Locals won't likely bother you too much, although they might insult you if you walk into them, but they can also compliment your vehicle if you drive up in a sweet ride. However, if they feel threatened, they can also pull a weapon on you. You can usually tell the difference between a local and an actual player right away, but not always. Oh, and they are terrible drivers. Like, the absolute worst. Name's Bunkus. Bunkus? Do you know I like spy channels? Oh, 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 oh. Hey. These damn locals. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Jeez. I hate the locals are on air. If you hear someone refer to something being scuffed, it likely means they're experiencing a bug. For example, my pockets are scuffed. Likely means they can't access their inventory. I'm sorry, I don't speak robot. My very first time interacting with someone on the server, I said a hello, and they immediately told me that I should take a cough drop. This seemed pretty weird to me, and I realized they were clearly trying to tell me something. I think I asked something like, what do you mean? Do I sound sick? And they said, yeah, you sound really sick, almost like a robot. Luckily, knowing this was my very first time on the server, I was recording myself to test my audio settings before going live on my stream. So I thanked the person and ran over to a bush to hide while I listened to the recording back. Sure enough, clearly I did something wrong when setting up my audio settings. This is yet another reason why it is so important to test your settings, test your sound, and do a practice recording before jumping into RP with others, or before going live on Twitch. Doing this will let you play around with the settings and get the perfect mix to where everything can be heard and you sound like you're supposed to sound to everybody in-game. By the way, I've got a great guide on how to set up all your in-game settings and keybinds specifically for GTA RP. You can find that link in the description below as well. If someone says they have a headache or their head popped, it likely means they're getting lag or dropped frames. Or if you hear someone say, what happened to Max? They were just here. Oh, his head popped. It likely means they crashed or got disconnected. If you hear someone say something like, flex your Y muscle, this is obviously a hint to press the Y key. Or if someone says something like, think about sitting three times. These are the kind of tips people will tell you through RP when explaining how to do something. Remember, you live in Los Santos. Stay in character or when answering questions or conveying info relating to the server or how long you've been in the city. For example, if someone asks, hey, is Johnny around? I'm Johnny Silverhand and you just got cyberpunked. Later, losers. Oh, fuck. I don't think they're usually up this early or they're not usually in town at this time or I think they're visiting another city today versus they're not online right now. If someone asks, how long have you been in the city? Meaning, how long have you been on the server? You can also say things like this other city I like to visit, referring to another server you play on. A tsunami refers to the server having a reset. Depending on the server, this may be at a scheduled time every day, and they may have rules regarding the reset, like carry on with RP as usual, meaning just because the server is about to reset doesn't mean it's a free-for-all and you could do whatever you want. If someone says they need to take a nap, this likely means they need to disconnect from the server and reconnect, or log off and log back on, usually to fix a bug. Taking the train or waiting on the train or lingo like this usually refers to someone waiting in the queue to get onto the server. If someone tells you you have a spider on your foot, this usually just means you have to jump to fix some kind of animation bug that other players are seeing. Inside my head or meditating means someone is about to be AFK for a moment and won't be able to respond. Basically, they're gonna BRB or be right back. When someone says they have to go to sleep, this usually means that they're logging off for the night. When referring to prison talk, months usually equates to minutes. So two months in prison might mean two minutes, IRL time. And years usually equates to days. So three years in prison would likely mean three days in real life. While the nines usually refers to someone that is in jail for life. If someone tells you to look through your eyes, this usually means to look in first person view. If someone refers to the voices in their head, this is probably referring to Twitch chat. Government can sometimes refer to the admins on the server, but keep in mind this can often slip into out of character talk and some servers will strictly forbid referring to things like the land of Discordia and things like that. Read up on the rules just to be safe. But again, you will learn all of this and more through RP itself. As you interact with others, you'll start to pick up on the different lingo that's used on that server. But I hope in the meantime, this helped you learn some common RP terminology as well as some in-character lingo you'll often hear on Twitch streams and when role-playing on different RP servers. Wherever you are in your RP journey, 
Enjoy the experience. And remember, great storytelling starts with you. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and share with someone else new to RP that might find it helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave one below. I do try to respond to every single one and it helps me out a lot. Once again, I've got a whole website with a ton of GTA RP guides full of great tips and advice for new players, along with my complete beginner guide where I cover everything you need to know to get started in GTA roleplay. We also have a GTA RP hub with a community on Reddit that you can join and share clips, ask questions, and jump into the conversation of everything relating to GTA RP. And a special shout out to my patrons for supporting the channel. If you enjoy the content and want to support as well, you can find a link to my Patreon below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!